Welcome to another Mix vs Master video. In these videos, I'll show you before mastering and after mastering to help me explain the mastering process. There will be no shortcuts. There will be no weird tricks because they don't exist. <laughs> I use a hybrid setup for mastering where I use a lot of high-end analog gear, but that's not really helpful to you for me to go into detail about that. I want these videos to be more of a way for me to teach you the mindset of mastering or the actual approach to mastering a song. So that way you can actually apply it to your own music. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. Today, we're gonna to be listening to a track from the band Deadbeat Dad Bod great band name thank you so much for letting me use the track this one's called tough t-u-f-f -F. <laughs> so good i'll leave the spotify link in the description below if you want to go check it out so to start things off we're going to listen to the mix and what i want you to do is listen to the track as a general consumer do you have any thoughts about it like the way it sounds do you have any things you'd like to change, what do you think about the mix? These are all things that we need to consider when we're mastering a song. So let's take a listen from the intro all the way to maybe the end of the first chorus and just gather some first impressions. Yeah, cool. So now you have your first impressions and you can see if they align with mine. I'll let you know what I think of it and see if you are close to what I was thinking. The first thing I notice is the mix is really, really good. Like we don't have to do much to this at all. And that is something that I'm going to touch on a lot is a good mastering engineer will only do what's necessary. You don't just automatically run it through every piece of gear you have because it's just your go-to settings. Like that is not mastering. Mastering is only doing what the track needs. I'm curious to know your opinions on what you thought of the mix. I thought it was really close. Like we really don't need to do much to this. There was two main things that I think needs addressing. One, the snare transients are quite loud and I think that definitely needs to be pushed back a little bit. This is quite common for mixing engineers that mix into a limiter and then they bypass it when they send it to me for mastering. So that's really not a problem at all. Point number two that I think this track needs, I think it definitely needs a little bit more thickness. For me, it's kind of missing a tiny bit of weight and density in the lows and low mids, especially in the center channel. I think the guitars in the sides are quite thick, but I think that that snare and the drums and the vocal could just get a bit more dense and a little bit thicker. So with those two things in mind, the transients being smoothed out and a little bit more thickness in the overall mix, let's listen to the mastered version. This will not be level matched. This will be a true mix first master because true mix first masters are not level matched. Mastering, there is a level difference. At the end of this video, I will play you a level match comparison just so you can maybe hear what I'm doing slightly more. But with that being said, you can absolutely train yourself to hear the differences when things are different levels. Here's the master and it does get a couple of dB louder.
Yeah, so for me, it just sounds like it has that drive and that density now that it needed. I will generally tell you what I did to the mix. Um, so to fix the transients, I obviously used a little bit of limiting, a few different stages through different pieces of equipment, um, as well as a little bit of clipping. I clipped the Vice DS1 Mark III right before the limiter. Um, but as I said, like that kind of information doesn't really matter to you. All you need to know is a little bit of clipping to smooth out the transients. I filtered a tiny bit of sub information out of the sides and that really kind of brought the focus to the center where I thought it needed to be a little bit more. And a tiny little boost of like, I think it was 200 Hertz in the center on the massive passive. That just gives that snare, that like weight and density and that push as well as the vocals. The vocals sound much more together and with the rest of the mix. And to be honest, everything sounds like it's more together and moving as one unit, where before it was a little bit separate. Let's take another listen, but this time I'm going to flick between the mix and the master. Yeah, so as you can see, we made a list of our first impressions, what we thought of the track needed, and then we did them. That is mastering. Obviously the accuracy of the room is important because I knew what the track needed. Just by listening to the speakers, I knew I could make a good decision. And that's why it's kind of hard to master at home, like in an inaccurate environment because you might not know exactly what you need to do. But I hope these videos show you that the real key is you only need to do what you think is necessary. And obviously like loudness considerations comes into that because that is necessary to be competitive. We did a couple of movements here and there and I think it's exactly what the mix needed. Now let's turn down the mastered version so we can do a roughly level match comparison so you can hear what the changes are. Yeah, hopefully you can hear what I'm hearing in the studio. It's just got that like that push of that energy in the guitars and the weight of the snare. Now the vocals sound much more expensive now as well. Where in the mix I found they were a little bit thin and just 
that push just wasn't there. This song was Tough by Deadbeat Dad Bod. Link is in the description if you wanna go check it out. If you'd like me to work on your music and work together to make sure your tracks are competitive and sounding as good as possible, my website is in the description below. Thank you for watching and your support. Remember to use your ears.